evidence choke evidence choke <laughs> it is obvious that Tinubu is heading to jail evidence choke he choke he choke he choke, he choke, he choke he back. <laughs> this man what did they call peter side just go chan uh, arise tv go expose everything everybody for cha arise tv you go for arise tv expose them evidence choke oh man no go talk too much i want me gonna help me watch this the video this one, I want to give credit to Arise TV. Oh, my, this one, Choco. This one, Choco. Oh, it is obviously written that Tinubu is going to jail. Every one of them, Mamudo, Mike, all of them that were involved in this as, uh, uh, election malpractice is heading to jail. What's up, ladies and gents? If this is your first time of coming across the town crowd, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share. Do not forget to follow. Most of I like our videos because according to YouTube and Facebook policy, the more you like our video, the more you have recommended to other subscribers that are more subscribed to this channel. Or more evidence choke. He choke past bread. Chee! What it be this? What it be this? Regget the video. Presidency figure three. This is your postmortem. Figure three for the presidency shows, if you can show figure three here, yeah, that just shows the, because we always did results by, by zones. We, we made predictions by zones. And almost all the predictions in the various, in the Northeast, APC and, and, and PDP, PDP had the most votes in line with our predictions. Northwest, a, you know, PDP and APC, Southeast, Labour Party, South South Labour Party, but the figures in red are the ones that are a little bit worthy of comment. So everything else was in line with our predictions. The one in the red on the North Central, you can see Labour Party finished up getting fewer votes in the North Central than the APC, which is what our polls indicated. And then for the South East and South South, yes, Labour Party got the highest votes, votes as our polls predicted. But if you go in red at the bottom, tell a story that total number of votes was very low in those two zones, and that makes a difference. And then finally, in the southwest, the figure in red, Labour Party, our polls showed they would come in second in the southwest, they finished up coming third. But we can come to the, the sort of controversy surrounding results in Lagos and so on later. So, then if you go to figure four, which shows the, um, the results of all the states. The print is tiny, but that just lists all the states and lists all the votes gotten by the top four, four candidates. And on the extreme right, we introduced something which was the percentage turnout in each state. The figures are small, you cannot see them well, but they range from something like 39% and come all the way down to as low as 15%. But the important thing to note is that on the right-hand side, we pointed out that APC, according to INEC results, got between 25% and 29.9% in eight states. It's important to bear that in mind because those are eight states which they just crossed the 25%. So you also have to look at what happened in those states. Let's go on to the next slide. Figure five. Yeah. You see, when I talked about voter turnout earlier, this slide was prepared by, this chart was prepared by Iaga, who are an NGO monitoring the elections. You can see that on the morning of the elections, they are showing the percentage of showing how much, how much INEC was ready, had arrived at the at, in the geopolitical zone. You can see that the averages are very different. 40% INEC was ready in, in the Northeast, then 37% in the Northwest, all the way down to the Southeast, only 7%. So it, so it was not a uniform pattern of arrival nationwide. Southeast was lagging behind with no materials. Also lagging behind was South-South, with only 15%. Let's go to the next slide, figure six. Yeah, this shows you that by, by um, 9.30 a.m., 
the average nationwide was that INEC was ready in 44% of the polling units, but that's a national average. Very high in the south where 67% we are ready, the polling units. Again, Southeast was kept down at 11%. So INEC did not turn up. Followed by South, 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 also at the lower end, 32%. Now, all things being equal, if INEC arrives late somewhere, but people still get a chance to vote, then the figures you look at in terms of the percentage turnout will reassure you that it didn't make a difference. So let's go to figure seven that shows, again, the percentage turnout, figure seven, please. The figures are small, but on the extreme right, this time we've arranged the states based on the percentage turnout with the highest on top, Jigawa. 39% got to vote, followed by um, Plateau. 39.01 got to vote. If you come all the way to the bottom, Sorry, but I'm from River State, who were the worst. At the very last, River State, only 14.8% got to vote. So you can see that I drew a line somewhere, which was just 25%. And you can see that all the states from the southeast and south-south were below that 25% line. So therefore, it looks as if the late commencement by INEC impacted the turnout. Well, actually, um, it's it's so very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting what you've shown us. I mean, that that was very comprehensive, um, and obviously, I mean, you you have a foundation that crunches these numbers and analyzes these things, which is very helpful. Because there was also a press release by INEC. It's there on Figure Eight where they gave the same assurances that all the results will be uploaded. If you put up figure eight, you will see that on the right, go to INEC IRF today, I went there today. On the right hand side is an example of what they uploaded. What did they upload? Access denied. How can you promise to upload something for us to see each polling unit? And what you go and post there so this morning, seven weeks after the presidential election, is access denied. Go to figure nine. And this is not the only one. Please go to figure nine. So it's one thing to promise something. It's a different thing to, to, to do the opposite. You look at figure nine. On the left, what do we have? What they uploaded on, 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 on um, INEC IREV. On the right is a copy, the blue copy from a polling agent, which has real results. You see Labour Party 137. On the left, everything was changed to zero. And there's no evidence of overvoting because if you look at the number of voters, it is in line with what what Biva said. So why would you reduce all the votes to zero and post on INEC IREV and tell, tell us to accept it and go home? Go to figure 10. Again. You look at the polling result that should be showing for in Lagos, Osaka, London. On the right is the results. You can see Labour Party 371 votes. You can see APC, all that. On the left, you see access denied. Why are you hiding these things from us? This is seven weeks after. You said at the beginning there was a glitch. Is there still a glitch? And you still cannot post this result on, on INEC IREV. Go to figure 11. I can flood this place with examples. Go to figure 11. Look at figure 11 on the right-hand side. If you don't believe me, I'll give you the polling unit number. Go there yourself. In your bed, 35-13-06-010. Look at the right-hand side. What's up, what somebody posted on INEC IREV? That is an exam result sheet for algebra or, or maths or something. They just posted nonsense here and there. So, so instead of giving us 176,000 result sheets, they have thousands of, of, of rubbish posted up there. Seven weeks after a presidential election, let's go to figure 12. You will find that Rapture, all um, these polling units I'm giving you on figure 12, 
Right. Those numbers, there's no result there. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Peter Side. It's just that we're, we're slowly running out of time, and I want to be able to, because we have to kind of move on to the other things on the program. But without prejudging the court cases that are coming up, I mean, given all these things that you're putting out, what are you, what, what, I mean, what are you calling for the courts to do? You know, the beauty of it is that these are important innovations, um, Bivas, INEC, IREV. And what they do is that they give us a huge body of evidence that we never had before. So before the courts did not have this amount of evidence, nor did we. This time the evidence is there. INEC has the results sheets. They should post them on INEC, IREV. So everybody can see them. Indeed, it's the winner of the election that should be particularly interested in saying, please post every single polling unit results. Let us tally them together and show you that I won. Why would they be hiding the results seven weeks after the elections? <coughs> well, in, in, fan in fairness to the, to, to the... Yeah, but in fairness to the person who won the election, he, he, I mean, there's no evidence that he's saying to INEC, hide the results. So that, that's not entirely I fair. Agree. Yeah, I, the, it, there's no evidence us. that he's saying that. I'm saying he should join us in the call. Right, okay, I I'm see saying what you mean. Everybody should join us in the call for right. transparency. Everybody, sorry, why would, would, would people who won or lost not want the real results to be published on INEC IREV as promised by the INEC chairman? If I is the person that won that should want it published the most to prove that everything was, was all right. Yes, actually, I have to say so, that you so, have... And if you go to figure 16... Yeah, you have a point there. But very, very briefly, because we're out of time and we have to move on. Go to figure 16, please. And I'll end, I, I'm, I'm prepared to just sum up, show you an example. If you go to figure 16, on the right-hand side, you have it, to show you the, 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 the level of complaint that some of us have seen, and I'm not a candidate. On the right-hand side, you see a polling agent result from River State. APC has 12 votes. The word is there in 12. The uh, Liberal Party has 588. The words are there. On the left-hand side, posted on INEC IREV, they've changed the Liberal Party from 588 to zero, to zero, zero, and increased the APC from 12, the word 12 is still there on the left, but the figure has jumped up to 170. Is this how they finished up having the highest number of votes in River State? If you make this kind of adjustments, perhaps they, they need to make it 25%, because you have jumped from 12 to 170. Why do you see the other guy from, from 588 okay. to zero? Well, on, on that so note... These are serious things that have to be investigated. Right. Well, that's why it's gone to the courts. And presumably the lawyers will, will be able to present whatever evidence they have to judges um, who most people believe will look at it dispassionately and make a decision. But I want to thank you very much indeed, uh, Mr. Peter Side, for coming in and for sharing your um, research and analysis with us.